an interstellar object that has been drifting through the hidden depths of the Milky Way galaxy for billions of years is passing through our solar system right now. This is the third interstellar object ever detected within the solar system. Astronomers have named it 3I Atlas. Unlike the earlier visitors, this one shows several unusual features that scientists had never seen before. That is why it keeps making headlines in science news almost every day. Some have even suggested that it could be an alien spacecraft. Its trajectory almost perfectly aligns with one that could allow it to enter orbit around the sun. There are even proposals to launch a probe to chase and study it directly. So, what exactly makes 3I Atlas so special? How long will it remain inside our solar system? Which planets will it pass close by? And why do some suspect it might be an alien probe? More importantly, is it practical to send a spacecraft after it? Let us explore these questions in this video. Hi friends, welcome to a new video from Science Simplified for All. So far, we know of only two interstellar objects that have passed through our solar system. These are Oumuamua and Borisov. Now, for the third time in history, astronomers have discovered another interstellar visitor. It has been named 3I Atlas. What you see here is the trajectory of 3I Atlas inside our solar system. The orbits of the planets up to Jupiter are clearly marked in this image. It was first detected on July 1st, 2025. At that moment, it was already inside Jupiter's orbit, at about this position. By September 14th, it had moved to here. Looking at the trajectory, one thing becomes very clear. This object does not pass close to Earth, even at its closest point to the Sun, the perihelion. It stays beyond Earth's orbit, but it will come near Mars and Jupiter. On October 3rd, it will make its closest approach to Mars. Then, on October 29th, it will reach perihelion, its nearest point to the Sun, before starting to move away again. And on March 16th, 2026, it will pass near Jupiter. That means, for the next six months, 3I Atlas will remain inside the orbit of Jupiter. This gives us an excellent opportunity to study it in detail. With Oumuamua, we had no such chance. It was already leaving the solar system by the time we found it. But with 3I Atlas, the situation is different. Moreover, we already have several spacecraft orbiting Mars and Jupiter. As 3I Atlas passes close to these planets, the same probes can also be used to observe and study this interstellar visitor. Now, let us look at what scientists have learned about 3I Atlas so far. The name Atlas comes from the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. It is a network of survey telescopes designed to detect asteroids and comets that might be heading toward Earth. These telescopes continuously scan the night sky, taking images and comparing them with the background of fixed stars. Any object that shifts position rapidly stands out as a potential asteroid or comet. It was at the Atlas facility in Chile that 3I Atlas was first detected. On July 1, 2025, after this discovery, astronomers checked older images taken by other survey telescopes around the world. They found that the object was already visible in some of those images. Using all these data together, scientists could estimate its speed and calculate its orbit. Since then, many of the world's most powerful telescopes both on Earth and in space, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, have been used to observe this object. These studies revealed a lot about its true nature. The primary conclusion is that 3I Atlas is a comet. Normally, a comet has three main parts. The first is the nucleus, which is the solid core made of ice, dust and rock. The second is the coma, a cloud of gas and dust, that forms when the sun's radiation heats the nucleus, causing the ice to vaporize. The third is the tail, which develops as solar radiation pressure pushes the gas and dust away from the sun. This means that a comet's tail does not always trail behind its direction of travel, as many people think. Instead, it always points directly away from the sun. 
in the first images of Three Eye Atlas, its coma and tail were barely visible. But later observations with Hubble and other telescopes showed a faint coma and a small tail. That is how astronomers confirmed that Three Eye Atlas is indeed a comet. Three Eye Atlas is moving through the solar system at an astonishing speed of about 58 kilometers per second. That is roughly 208,000 kilometers per hour. Compared to the two earlier interstellar objects, this is extremely fast. Oumuamua and Borisov moved much slower by comparison. This unusually high speed was the very first clue that Three Eye Atlas must have come from outside our solar system. But why does speed matter? An object that belongs to the solar system cannot move this fast at such a distance from the sun. The laws of orbital mechanics simply do not allow it. The second piece of evidence is its trajectory. If it were orbiting the sun, its path would be circular or elliptical. But 3I Atlas follows a hyperbolic trajectory. That means it will never return to the solar system. In fact, its path is even more hyperbolic than the earlier two interstellar visitors. The sun's gravity bends its course only slightly because it is moving too fast to be captured. 3I Atlas is just passing through a one-time visitor to our solar system. Another major difference between 3I Atlas and an ordinary comet is its composition. Most comets in our solar system are dominated by water ice. As they approach the sun, this ice turns into vapor and together with dust, it forms the coma and the tail. But in 3I Atlas, the coma contains far more carbon dioxide ice than water. In fact, water is only a minor component. No other comet observed in our solar system has shown this pattern. In addition to carbon dioxide, astronomers have also detected gases like carbonyl sulfide and carbon monoxide, which are not normally seen in comets. This strongly suggests that the conditions in the star system where 3 I Atlas was formed must have been very different from those in our own solar system. Studying this comet could therefore give us clues about distant planetary systems. Another surprising discovery is the presence of nickel in 3I Atlas. In general, when a star system forms, heavy elements like iron and nickel condense in planets closer to the star, while comets form much farther out in the colder regions where only ices and volatile compounds can collect. Volatile means substances with a low boiling point that easily turn into vapor. The presence of carbon dioxide shows that 3I Atlas was formed in the outer portions of a star system. But the presence of nickel in it is therefore unexpected. It becomes even stranger when we look at the details. Everywhere else in the universe where nickel is found, it always appears along with iron, for well-understood reasons of stellar nucleosynthesis and condensation. But in 3I Atlas, astronomers found nickel without any detectable iron. This is very unusual. Some scientists argue that the only way nickel could appear in isolation is if it was deliberately separated from iron. In other words, if it were of artificial origin. That is one of the reasons why some people began to wonder if 3I Atlas might not be a natural object at all. Because 3I Atlas has a coma, we cannot directly see its nucleus. That means we cannot yet confirm what it is truly made of. And this lack of clarity is one reason why some people have speculated that it could even be an alien spacecraft. One of the leading voices making such arguments is Avi Loeb, an Israeli-born astrophysicist at Harvard University. When Oumuamua passed through the solar system, he too suggested that it might have been an alien probe. The problem, however, is that there is no clear evidence to support or deny his claims. Until we have solid proof, the scientific community will continue to treat 3I Atlas as a natural object. This makes further detailed study of the object extremely essential. But how? Observations from Earth and space telescopes can only do so much because 3I Atlas never comes close to Earth. Launching a new spacecraft toward it is not realistic either, given its enormous speed and the short time available. This is where the spacecraft already orbiting Mars and Jupiter become important. As 3I Atlas passes near these planets, those probes can be used to gather more data. 
there has even been a proposal to use NASA's Juno spacecraft, which is currently orbiting Jupiter. If its trajectory were altered in time, it might be redirected toward 3I Atlas. The idea is to use a special technique known as the Oberth Maneuver, taking advantage of Jupiter's strong gravity to give Juno a powerful boost of speed. In fact, India's Chandrayaan mission used a similar method around Earth to escape orbit efficiently. But Juno was designed for long-term studies of Jupiter, and it still has important scientific goals left. Experts believe NASA is unlikely to abandon those objectives and send Juno on a one-way mission after 3I Atlas. Here is yet another argument put forward by Avi Loeb. Assume for a moment that 3I Atlas is indeed an alien spacecraft. If it wanted to slow down on entering the solar system, the easiest way would be to use the sun's gravity to perform a reverse Oberth maneuver. In simple terms, instead of gaining speed with a gravity assist, it would use a rocket burn near the sun to lose speed. This could allow it to be captured into an orbit around the sun. And here is the intriguing part. Looking at the present trajectory of 3I Atlas, its path is almost perfectly suited for such a maneuver. Moreover, if the thruster burn were carried out on the far side of the sun, we her on Earth would not be able to see it happen. Only when the object re-emerged from behind the sun would we notice that its speed had dropped and that it had entered into orbit. That is the kind of possibility Avi Loeb has suggested. But other scientists still consider this to be nothing more than speculation. In any case, 3I Atlas will remain inside Jupiter's orbit for the next six months. During that time, astronomers hope to collect more data and uncover more secrets about this remarkable interstellar visitor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave a comment. Your response is my biggest motivation. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thank you.